poor old apostrophe is the most misused of all punctuation marks, which is probably the reason why there are so many self-appointed apostrophe police. And I can sympathise with them, because it really is a crime the way people misuse it. I've even heard the apostrophe described as the single biggest differentiator between civilised and ignorant people. So there. But don't worry, I'm going to give you some simple strategies, three simple strategies, that will mean you can easily get it right almost 100% of the time, which will make you an instant genius. And the first one, which is dead easy, eliminates the biggest single cause of getting apostrophes wrong. Rule number one, get this right and you'll slash your apostrophe blunders by a staggering 60%. The apostrophe is never ever 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 used to indicate more than one item. In other words, making something plural. So for example, the plural of banana should not have an apostrophe. The library doesn't have lots of book apostrophe s, it's got lots of books. Now this is one that uh, almost everyone gets wrong. When talking computers, more than one PC is not PC apostrophe s, it's PCs. You're getting the message. Never ever ever use an apostrophe to make something plural. Get this simple lesson right and you will avoid 60% of apostrophe errors. Easy. So if they're not used to signify the plural, what are apostrophes used for? Well, just two things. Either to show that a word is an abbreviation or to show ownership. Nothing more than that. We often abbreviate words, shorten them, uh, by dropping a few letters or joining two words together and losing some letters in the process. It's done much more in conversational English rather than in formal English. Let's, let's think of some examples. Did not becomes abbreviated to didn't when we speak. We have becomes we've. Could have becomes could have. Let us is abbreviated to let's. I have becomes I've. That has that's. The town Peterborough can be abbreviated to Peterborough. So our second rule is, whenever you remove letters from a word or from two adjacent words, you use an apostrophe to show where the letters have been removed. Those are the first two rules then. One, never use an apostrophe to make something plural. Two, whenever you drop letters to make an abbreviation, you do use an apostrophe to show what you have done. If you always apply both rules, you will eliminate 85% of apostrophe clangers. In our next session, we're going to look at the third rule, ownership.